You've heard of them by now, Super PACs, the endless cash machine for political campaigns. Our media partner, Investigative News Source, followed some of the money and it led them here to San Diego. Brooke Williams is a reporter working with Investigative News Source. She joins me from Washington, D.C. via Skype. Brooke, thanks for being here. No, thank you for having me. Now, how many Super PACs did you discover based here in San Diego? Uh, well, three. Uh, there, there's one that is election-minded, uh, based in La Jolla, and was dedicated to electing Rick Perry. Um, a second, uh, less election-minded, based in Scripps Ranch, dedicated to ensuring their sustainable life on other planets. And a third, um, called a completely legitimate super PAC. Ironically, it's, it's not a super PAC not at all. And, and the other thing you did is you, you did follow the money. You wanted to find out who in San Diego County is contributing to super PACs. What did you learn? Well, I found that um, a couple individuals have given big money to super PACs. Um, first, Doug Manchester, who purchased the Union Tribune, now UT San Diego, uh, gave $25,000 a few months before the purchase uh, to restore our future, which was dedicated to electing Mitt Romney. Uh, second, uh, a couple San Diego real estate investors, uh, Lawrence and Suzanne Hess, uh, donated $120,000 to Progressive Kick, uh, Progressive Super PAC. Now, I know in this show, in the last little while, we've been talking a lot about the 52nd Congressional District. Now, this is Brian Bilbray's uh, district. He's a Republican. And there's been a lot of talk about whether or not the Republican Party, or at least Super PACs kind of supporting Republicans, are going to step in and, and put some money into this race. What did you find out? Uh, absolutely. I spoke with super PACs, both conservative, uh, progressive, Democrat, Republican, and um, and they're really eyeing the 52nd district. It's a newly redrawn district and looking to be competitive, and they want to put their money where they think it's going to make a difference. Um, for instance, the House Majority PAC, which is dedicated to uh, ensuring Democrats win the House, um, is looking to spend in the 52nd. Um, the executive director told me that she is all but certain that they will. Um, on the conservative side, uh, American Crossroads, which has raised um, uh, $18 million, um, is um, eyeing the 52nd district. A little more hesitant to discuss strategy, but um, we have super PACs getting ready to spend big money on advertisements in San Diego. Finally, before we go, Brooke, we don't have a lot of time. Any sort of Democrat, Democratic super PAC looking to spend money in that district as well? Uh, the House Majority PAC. That's the house. Okay, thank you. Brooke Williams, reporter for Investigative News Source. Thank you.